Hello, this is Stuart Fleming, and tonight we're going to work with um, using a class file where we take data and then we load it into the database in the class file itself um, by manipulating uh, entity objects uh, defined in JDeveloper. Um, I'm going to add a uh, name. And uh, oh. and we'll use the date chooser here, <clears throat> as though we were loading a uh, a new employee. And the interesting thing about this is that these are not associated with an entity object. These fields are uh, basically attached <clears throat> via bindings through the data control and the application module to a class. Now, when I press create a new employee, it's going to do so. And um, there are some limitations to what we have here because obviously we didn't see the data refresh. This is um, ordered so that it's a um, in order of employee ID descending. And you can see that it hasn't refreshed. And if I add another time, well, we get a little refresh there, but there was an error and I, I don't know where it went to. We'll do it a third time. There it comes. And it says that there's a unique constraint. Well, that's because we have a unique constraint on the email. If I put 222 in there, I can create a new employee. Now, also, if we go over here and check the records here, you can see that I have this instance of Stuart Fleming. And I have another instance of Stuart Fleming. Um, and those are the regular records. But it did load. And um, we'll take a look at how it did through through the class file in the next uh, the coming videos. And then finally, we'll take a look at how we can um, get these values to clear out and get this table to refresh. So uh, follow along uh, and uh, hope this will be helpful to you.